everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. We're back at you again with another AliExpress haul. I can't stay away from AliExpress. There is so much stuff on that website. Anything you type in, they've basically got. And uh, I like it more than Wish because they actually offer free shipping. Whereas on Wish you see items for free or they might be one or two dollars. The shipping is usually five or ten dollars or sometimes even twenty dollars. But on AliExpress they do actually have things called like an e-packet and you can get those things shipped for free. So a lot of the things I'm showing you today had free shipping and they had very, very low prices. I've had these parcels sitting in my room for a couple of weeks now because I was just waiting for all of them to arrive. They do slowly trickle through and I think I'm missing one or two. So I might have to follow up with another video later showing those items because they're really, really cool. So uh, with that, Let's jump into it. We're going to start off small. I could not help myself when I saw these. I just got a new car the other day and I was looking for car accessories and these popped up. This must have been targeted advertising. They must have known that I like Hello Kitty because these are Hello Kitty car air fresheners. Okay, they are so cute. I'm not entirely sure how you're meant to use them because they're like this and they came with this little silver bag and the bag smells really nice. So I don't know if the, the fresh scent thing is in here. Oh, it feels like it is actually. But you know what? I'm a little bit suspicious to open like a shiny plastic package that's just come straight out of China. So I might not actually use that or at least not without a biohazard suit on. But just to show you what they actually look like, how cute is that? So there's two of them. You could buy them individually or you could buy them as pairs. Now this costs seven dollars for these two and that is seven Australian dollars. All the prices that you hear me say today are Australian dollars. Seven Australian dollars is probably maybe like four US dollars or something like that. So just remember the, the US conversion, it's a smaller number, okay? So these seven Australian dollars for these two adorable little Hello Kitty car air fresheners. So they came with these little clips like this. I suppose that you just put that in there. I don't want to break them, but I don't see any other way to do it. And then that just clips into your air conditioning. There. They are so cute! What do you think, Archie? Look! What do you reckon? Now, I can't speak for how well these little gems are going to stay on there. At the moment, it feels pretty well made. It's the sort of thing, I don't really think that I'll be like bashing it around or anything in the car. It'll just kind of go on the air conditioning vent and that'll be it. So I think that these will be fine. I think they'll survive as long as you don't bash them around, but it does feel like it's glued on there pretty well. So I'm very, very happy about those. This next item is the most expensive item from the video today. And you're going to think I'm crazy. And I think I'm crazy as well. I bought the most extra tissue box I've ever seen in my life. Now what happened was it was recommended to me when I bought those two Hello Kitty crystal accessories. So this is a crystal tissue box. Oh my god. If this isn't the most Trisha Paytas thing I've ever seen in my life, look at that. This is a, oh I don't think it's real Swarovski crystal, but it's a crystal tissue box. And this was $50. I know, I know, I'm insane. I cannot believe I paid that much. I had to know what it was like. I had to know if it was worth it. And it is very, very well made. You, you right there? It has a mix of iridescent little crystals and just standard sort of sparkly crystals. And it actually came with some tissues in there. Love that added value. Not entirely sure how to, oh, that's how you open it. It just pops open like that. So you just lay your tissues on it like that and then just close it. So let's open up these tissues here. I think I might just sit it on my makeup vanity and I might actually put makeup removal wipes in there. Cause that is, that's beautiful. Can you believe that? Trisha Paytas who? Now before Archie chews a hole in this velvet dress, I'm gonna try on some clothes that I got. So I picked up a little t-shirt and also a skirt. This skirt, I bought this a little while ago before I was on YouTube. I wore it when I was putting on my makeup one day and I spilled foundation all over it, but I just wanted to show it to you and I'm gonna pair it with this t-shirt. This skirt is $17 and the t-shirt is $14. Okay, right off the bat, the top is so, so nice. It's made of a really nice stretchy material that's very, very 
very soft. This skirt, I love this skirt. I have worn this so many times since I bought it, but it has these lovely little hearts on the side here, and this came in a few different colors. The fit for this one, I have tried a lot of different skirts from AliExpress, and I found that this one had really great sizing. It was accurate to the measurements. This is a small, and I normally wear an Australian size 6, which is, I think, a US size 2. So I found that the sizing was pretty accurate. It fits my waist really well, and it's not too short. It comes down to here. So it's, it's actually fine for if you have to bend over or anything, and it has shorts on the inside, so it's not gonna show your bum, which is great, I really like that. So in, in windy conditions, you can walk confidently knowing you're not gonna flash the world. Yes, that is a tag, Archie. Uh, the t-shirt, I'll show you the length of it. That's how long the t-shirt is, but I much prefer to tuck these sort of t-shirts into my skirts. I love this, I think this t-shirt also came in white as well. But to me, having a white t-shirt with blue clouds is just, it's just not correct. It's not correct. I need white clouds on a blue sky. This next item is a phone case, and uh, this is ridiculous. This was only $11, and um, wait for it. If you grew up in the 90s, you'll know what this is. This is a phone case that looks like a Game Boy. Look at that, and apparently, apparently it works. I don't know. I don't know if it actually works or not. Apparently you can play it. That's what the expectation images showed. Oh my god! It comes with a battery! It actually- oh look! It comes with two batteries. I think you can actually play it. Hang on. I know! Oh, and the instructions are in English as well. Introduction about the game buttons. On and off, reset, rotate, wow. There's pr proper instruction book there. So um, it looks like you just slide the batteries in here. I think they just go in there, so uh, I'm glad that it came with them, because if this hadn't come with batteries, we all know it's it's such a struggle when you have to go find these very, very specifically sized coin batteries. Does it only need one? Oh my god. Is this how I do it? Okay, so hang on, let's let's get some POV shots here. First of all, does it fit on my phone? I have an iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, let's just take a moment of silence to talk about this. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I have had this phone for years. I have taken such good care of it. Dan and I were moving a piece of furniture the other day and it fell out of my pocket and the screen shattered. That's what I get. I didn't have a case on it for the first, first time. That's what you get, kids. Leave your phone in a case. And I have, I'm too invested now in iPhone 7 Plus cases. I can't get a new phone because, I mean, I have so many iPhone 7 Plus cases. My work offered me a new phone recently and I was like, nope, I don't want to buy new cases. And then I dropped this one. Okay, ready? On. On and off. Okay. Ready? How do we... <gasps> oh my god. Is this Tetris? What is this? <gasps> what do I do? Oh my god, I'm, I'm winning points somehow. Oh! It looks like Tetris! Oh my god! Am I, am I, am I winning? No. This isn't a shh shh shh. This isn't a gaming channel, so uh, we're not going to do a let's play. But uh, catch me on Twitch. <laughs> I'm joking. I think I'll have to figure out how to master this game and then I will update you guys. Maybe I can do it on Instagram or something. No, no chump. Not for you. I can update you on Instagram and let you know, but it works. It actually works. I don't believe it. For $11, I didn't expect this to work, but it does. So uh, let's turn it off. And even if you're not actually using it for a game, that's a sick phone case. Like a pink Game Boy as a phone case. That's sick. No, 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 not for you, no. Well, a few minutes ago I lied to you and I said that the uh, blingy tissue box was the most expensive thing. This is the same price. Forgive me, I'm not, I'm not crazy, I swear. I just, I had to try this. It looked too good to be true. I think it probably will be too good to be true. This is a Hello Kitty mirror. Yeah, I'm going nuts with the Hello Kitty things. <gasps> oh, I don't 
I remember ordering two. I'm as excited as you are! Okay, wait, almost. Yeah, I know. Okay, haha, -ha. we're through. Oh my god. This is so much better than the photos made it look. Wait, where's the mirror? I'm so confused. Okay, well this is supposed to be a mirror. The mirror must be in here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ready Archie, there's something in here. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <coughs> okay, we're in. Oh my god, look at this. This is, this is a mirror. This is a Hello Kitty mirror, all covered in little rhinestones like this. If you're obsessed with Hello Kitty like me, $50 is, is something that you can find. I can summon $50 to buy something as cute as this. So basically it looks like it just fits in, oh! Ah! That has to be one of the most extra things I've ever purchased for my room. I do think it's possibly worth $50. It is just so cute. This is gonna be on my Instagram all the time. Don't forget to follow me, it's Pretty Pastel Please. Archie's found a friend. Did you know you can buy friends on AliExpress? So that, no, I'm dead. That is so cute, I love it. Okay, next up we have some more clothes. And once again, this t-shirt is $14. This skirt is $17. This skirt is basically the same as the one that I'm wearing, but it was from a different listing. And it's always, it's interesting to see you know, you buy things from different listings from different sellers on AliExpress, but it's often the same products. I believe they just come from the same warehouse. It says milk and it says gun batte, gun batte, which I believe means like do well or try hard or something. Hey, no, I have to put that on. Okay, so the t-shirt is a great success. It's very soft, very comfortable, $14. Australian dollars, which might be maybe 10 US dollars. It just feels like a very standard t-shirt you'd buy from Target. Now, obviously I've never washed this, so I can't say whether or not this is long lasting, but it does feel like the, the decal thing on it isn't gonna come off very easily. It feels quite well made there. The skirt, this is the same size as the white skirt that I bought, but the white skirt was fitting me a lot better on the inside. It had little shorts on the inside and they weren't tugging, but these shorts, I think I probably will actually have to cut the shorts on the inside, because you might, I don't know if you can tell, but see, it's kind of pulling down a little bit there. And that's because the shorts on the inside aren't fitting me so well. Around the waist it fits perfectly and the length is also totally fine as well. But it's just the shorts on the inside are quite small. So I may have to cut the shorts off these. The skirt is very cute, exactly the same as the other one with little love hearts on the side. But I love it. This little milk shirt is so cute. I have seen this milk shirt on Wish and also on other kawaii kind of stores online. That's how long it is. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this. White t-shirts I always manage to stain within five minutes of wearing them. I'll at least get five minutes of wear out of it before I have to wash it and then I can report back and tell you guys you know how these things go in the wash and everything but it feels like it should be okay. So both of these they're relatively cheap, pretty well made. I like them both. What do you think? Oh you like it do you? What a good boy. This next item is quite a well-known Chinese brand. You can buy it on Wish and you can buy it on AliExpress. It's called Bentoy and they have a whole bunch of different products. If you saw my Wish Back to School haul where I had this like holographic diary, that was by this same brand. This little hollow purse or iridescent holographic purse comes in a bunch of different color variations, but I got the pink holographic version. This brand, they make things exceptionally well. This is so nice. That's it on the inside. Just enough to carry coins, and then it's got this little chain there. Are you having fun, Archie? You don't drop it. Don't you drop that. It's really cute because the little chain can actually clip onto things, so you could clip it onto another bag, you could clip it onto your pants. Honestly, I was so shocked. Every time I get something from this brand, I'm always amazed by how well their things are made. It's really nice and it's an absolutely adorable and for only $10, if I went into a store, if I went into H&M or Forever 21, I'd pay at least 20 for that because of the quality of it. So I absolutely love that so much. It's one of my favorite purchases. This next item has a story dating back right, right back to the start of my YouTube channel. One of my first and most popular videos was a Wish haul. And in that haul, I tried to buy this phone case and it never turned up. So then I tried to buy it again and then they refunded me the money because they said they were out of stock. So I went from Wish over to AliExpress and finally, 
After months and months and months, I finally have it. I wonder if any of you can guess what this is. Extra points to you if you leave a comment below before you see the reveal and you guess what this is. I feel like I've finally been reunited with a, a long lost loved one or something. Finally, after all this time, I finally have the Pikachu phone case. It's here, it's real. I was beginning to think it was just a thing of legend and that it was a myth and it didn't actually exist because I could never get my hands on it, but it is finally here and it is absolutely adorable and it's everything that I wanted and more. It is so cute. So we're gonna we're gonna finally put it on my phone. I, this, is, this is a life-changing moment for me, guys. I don't believe it. It's time for the Game Boy to come off as, as good and as fun and musical as that was. Okay, here goes nothing guys. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Finally. Ah! Look, yay! I'm so happy! Isn't that just the cutest phone case you've ever seen? You can get a real proper look at it. It looks like a candy wrapper. And look at the attention to detail. Like, it, it actually looks just like a candy wrapper. This is absolutely insane. I'm so happy. I'm gonna wear this phone case every day. I think I might actually get some backups of it as well, just in case, like, they stop making it and I lose this one or something. I'm gonna buy some more. This was $4. How can $4 bring one person so much joy? Answer me that. I am so, so happy with this. Amazing. Archie is going to hate these next two items because they're both cat related. So the first ones, I've bought these a while ago. These were $23, I think. This is a pair of jeans. And the best part about them, they have little cats on the legs like that. I love the fit of these. I got them in my own size and they fit perfectly. They're easy to get over the hips. They fit at the waist. I really, really like these. And the top, now the top was recommended to me once again because of the mirror. So this came up in the recommended section where the mirror was. I have a feeling this must be a ripoff. I don't think that this was an authentic design. So if anyone knows where this is from, please let me know below and I will pop credit for the original creator. So this is a Hello Kitty sweater. So it's a Hello Kitty turtleneck sweater and it's cropped. So it's like that. Hello Kitty looks like a little bit of a derp but on the back, it also says Hello Kitty as well. There. And I think it also says it on the sleeves as well. So let's give this one a try. Okay, here we go. I'm not that impressed by the top. It's soft, but I, I think the fit is a little bit awkward. It does have this huge turtleneck. Like it's a very, very long turtleneck. You roll that down. So that's, that's quite nice. The length of the sleeves is pretty good for me. The jeans, I've been wearing these a lot. These are fine. These fit really well around the waist. I'll have to show you a photo. I can't exactly go back far enough to show you the rest of the jeans, but maybe you can get an idea. That's that's what they look like. <sighs> Aesthetic. The top is cute, but I just did a quick Google search and I saw that there is actually a brand that I believe that they probably originally made this, but when I was having a look, I couldn't actually find one available. I think maybe it was limited edition or sold out and it did look like it was very expensive, like a couple of hundred dollars. Whether you want to find the original one, maybe you could find one on eBay or Depop or something, I'll put a link below and I'll actually have the name of who actually originally created this. Because this is a really, really cute design. I feel like Hello Kitty doesn't quite look right. It's like Hello Kitty's, you know, awkward stepsister or something. Oh, and it was $20, so not, not bad. Not bad. Okay, time for another phone case, but I feel like this is just going to be nothing but disappointment after that amazing Pikachu one. But uh, this was also $4. Oh, so I got this to add to my collection because I have a few of this style. Here it is. It says Chill Pills, and it actually looks like a little bottle of cartoon pills. It is very, very cute. It's a silicon one, so it's stretchy. It has green on it, so Archie likes it. I really like these kind of silicony phone cases. They're very comfortable to hold. I guess I'll have to part with my absolute favorite to show you what this looks like, but straight back on with the Pikachu after. It fits my phone perfectly. They had this in so many different sizes, and it's only $4, and it looks really, really cool. I love cartoon looking phone cases, like three dimensional kind of cartoon phone cases, but uh, straight back on with Pikachu. I have waited too long for this Pikachu phone case to not wear it for the next year. Now we just have one more thing. Now this was kind of expensive as well. I think this may have been like 40 something Australian dollars, but it's a huge sweater and this came in different colors. Hey, no, please don't destroy that. Ah! Because I don't want you to. This came in a couple of colors. It also came in purple. I was very tempted to get the purple, but I went for the pink because this is me we're talking about. 
Okay, wow! Right off the bat, feels pretty well made. It has a cute little moon on it just here, and it looks like it's relatively long. It's not as long as I had hoped, but I guess the models that they use, they're really, really tiny models, so everything looks oversized. I could possibly have sized up. I don't actually remember if this had different size options available, but I'm really excited because I've been wanting one like this. I've seen these online for ages. I've been wanting one for so long, so let's give it a go. Okay, so here it is. This one was actually $30. I got it wrong. So $30 is not bad at all. That's, it feels like it's worth about $30. The fit, I don't think it's that flattering. Maybe tucked into a skirt, this would be a bit nicer. I just have a funny thing with, you know, sort of baggy looking clothes, but I know some people would really, really like this trend. I think I'll wear this a lot. It looks quite cute with these jeans, actually. I don't mind it. Like I said, this is in different colors, and I think I will actually go back and get the purple one as well. I really, really like this, and it's very, very warm. The knitting, it looks like it's pretty well made as well, so really really happy so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already there's a green bird on this channel he would very much appreciate it if you subscribed isn't that right isn't that right thank you so much for watching keep an eye out for our next few videos i'm about to film another one i'm filming a doll's kill sugar thrills haul that's coming up soon so keep an eye out for that one click the notifications bell if you haven't already so you know when i upload and uh you can find us on Instagram, Pretty Pastel Please. He also has an Instagram. It's Archie Eclectus. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mwah!